The next thing we're going to look at in Revit is the view control bar, which is located at the bottom left of your view space. Now, the view control bar control contains shortcuts that um, control the visual style um, of each different view that you're in. Um, the first button you can see is the scale bar. Now, you can go in and change that to a custom scale if you want, or you can just pick one of the Revit presets. And what that means is that when we go to drop this view onto a sheet to print it, that we know what scale it's going to be at, so it'll print correctly. And you can have a look at the detail level of the drawing. Now there's three settings for the detail level, coarse, medium, and fine. And what that will do is it'll, depending on how you've drawn your elements, you'll be able to see um, more or less information. Coarse setting, for example, will give you just the exterior lines of a wall, and it will solid fill the wall. Whereas the fine settings will actually show you um, all the uh, interior assembly of the wall as well, including um, insulation and, and, and structure. Uh, next, we have our uh, visual styles. Now I'm going to jump over to a 3D view to show, explain this. So I'm just going to find one in the project browser. Let's go to this one. Okay, now you can see that at the moment this is on shaded with edges. Now you can just take it upon yourself to jump through and have a look how all the different visual styles are going to give you a different look to your drawing. You also have the option as well of jumping over here and turning shadows on for each of the drawings. So you can do a little shadow study from your perspective views. Um, the sun, sun Path here is a new tool in Revit 2011. I'm just going to jump into the 3D view, the default 3D view, um, to show you how this works. So if we turn the Sun Path on, what it's going to do, if I zoom out, is give me a an idea of um, how the sun is going to um, travel across my site um, throughout the day and you can just hold your mouse on this this sun and move it around and you can see it'll give you a running running time and date and if we combine that with turning our shadows on we'll be able to look at how the shadows lie on the site um, throughout the year or throughout the day now if I jump back to this perspective view the next one is this uh, teapot here which brings up the rendering dialog box. We'll get into this later but what that does it, it brings up a separate window um, that has settings depending on the quality of photorealistic render that you want to produce out of this drawing. After that we have our crop regions. Now if I just jump back to a, to a site plan view over here in the properties palette now if I go ahead and turn on my crop region, you'll see these four lines that come up on the page to create a crop region. Now I can actually move these around and close them in. And that's going to control how much of that drawing I actually see um, on the page. So if I zoom in on that, we can see I've actually cropped my drawing to show exactly what I wanted to see. I can either hide or show those lines and I can also turn off my crop or turn it back on with the click of a button down here as well. Now another important thing is the hide elements tool. Now I like to use the right hand menu in Revit to show or hide an element per view. You just right click hide in view by element and it's going to hide that element. If I also go in I can say right click hide in view by category and it's going to hide that whole category. So if I click on all the trees or just all the walls um, it's going to hide them in that view. Now if I click on my light bulb here it's going to show me in highlighted um, pink, what I've actually got hidden in this drawing. And to unhide them, 
simply right click unhide in view by elements and I'll right click on a wall here and say unhide in view by category and you'll see all of a sudden they become unhighlighted in the drawing if I just click my light bulb again you'll come out of that hidden view look uh, once again you can also in 2D views control your visual style take that back to hidden line there we go